Colorado, uh, I'm proud to say, is a state that is really leading, I think, the nation in terms of education reforms. There are a lot of great things happening in Colorado, and they're happening because we're able to build uh, uh, collaborative efforts here to bring together ideas and resources and commitment and vision to really make things happen. This is truly a school raising the bar for instruction in science, technology, engineering, and math. And also special thanks to our friends from the Mortgage uh, Family Foundation and Excel Energy. Um, when the National Education Association challenged Colorado to match a funding grant for STEM, these two partners stepped up uh, with the resources to support our teachers and to support our students uh, to make a difference in the lives of our kids to make sure that they are prepared for the careers of the 21st century. So thank you. One of the mistakes people make is they think that we need to teach people physics and math to make them into physicists and mathematicians. When you think that way, it says, oh, only the elite should do it because how many people do we need to become physicists? It's really the cornerstone of our Western society and the fact that we've become so poor as a country at it really has put us in a position of not being able to move forward. It's made all of this technology around you seem like magic to too many people and not understandable. You know, investing in Colorado students is not new to Excel. Over the last five years, we've invested about 1.4 million in STEM education across the state but we're particularly excited about this program. We all know that improving and investing in STEM education is imperative for our economy. Carrie talked about how many of the jobs will entail those kind of skills. Let me talk about it from the perspective of our company, though. Uh, 1,973, that's 50% of our current Colorado jobs that require a degree or strong STEM knowledge and math and science skills. About half of that, nearly 2,000 workers that we have in Colorado that need those skills will retire in the next 10 years or they're eligible for retirement. So we look to children that are in middle school and grade school currently, they'll be the ones that our company is relying on in the future to do what we do, to keep the lights on, to maintain our systems, operate our power plants. The other thing that we hope to accomplish through this partnership is giving our, our employees an opportunity to engage with the school districts, to, be, uh, to, to volunteer their time and energy, and to help students understand how these skills will be applied in, in future jobs. We're investing a lot of money, uh, probably about a billion dollars a year, in the infrastructure, our energy infrastructure, to keep providing reliable and safe service going forward. Now, frankly, Investing all that money in equipment, plants, wires, poles, those kind of things, it makes no sense if we don't invest in the human capital, in the workforce that it's going to take to operate our facilities and serve our customers in the future. And through our participation in this program, along with the partners, uh, we believe that we're making an investment that will pay off many times over in the future.